There was near fisticuffs at the Okonglo bus terminal, where these students clashed with the university security officials who were there to restrain the aggrieved student from holding the news conference. They argued that the student did not seek permission. The UG handbook for junior members details that students who wish to organize any public functions within or outside a hall of residence must obtain prior permission. This is one of the rare times when Commonwealth and Mensa Sabah Hall students are collaborating towards a common cause. The last time they were seen together, it was a fiery clash which left several property destroyed an incident which led management to review the composition of both halls. After the tussle with the university security, the student teamed up to kick against the decision to revoke accommodation for continuing male students of both halls. The university management, which fails to provide proper security for students, failed to have conclusive investigations but has been quick to issue a wholesale sanction that affects all male continuing students in Mensa Saba Hall and Commonwealth Hall. This current decision by management we know is malicious and not only limited to breaking the activism powerhouse of the students' front, weakening the alumni allegiance and affiliation of students to these halls upon completion of their studies. The students say they are ready for a legal battle. Nonetheless, we say to University of Ghana management today that we will not remain resolute and we will not koto to such knee-jerk reactionary approach. How does university management expect Vikings and Vandals to competitively match other halls in terms of sports, SRC activities and even leadership of JCRs when all students in these halls will be level 100s? We will fight for our rights with all tools at our disposal. We would have a legal battle. This is in spite of a summary rejection of management decision by the Old Vandals Association and other allied groups. The university declined to react to the issues. Christian Yale, TV3 News, University of Ghana Campus.